They just hold that energy. So much to be thankful for. When I came in this morning, I could feel the energies that were heavy. But I was thinking, there's so much to be thankful for. And then I mentioned someone, it's hard to look at this side and that side that's going on right now. The day and the night, the darkness and the light. And make it come, in, come to that place of the heart where we can understand that there's so much to be grateful for, so much to be connected with. And then to recognize each and every one of us are connected. That's the pain we're feeling from all those that are hurting in different areas, in different ways. I mean, look what's going on all over, not just North Carolina, Georgia, and here in Florida. This is happening all over the world. Energies are moving in ways, it's like, how can we understand it? It's like a war has been going on. But the world, oh gosh, you know, the war started within us. The downfall started within us. We're the ones that have all this ocean of emotion, I heard myself say last week. Do we not understand? Do we not understand we're connected to every element, everything, every atom, every person in this whole, not only just this world, but in the universe, folks. So this night we pray for. When you said that, I felt like that this is where we're at for the majority of us human beings. We're still in that night. We're still in the darkness of time, of the dark age. But the light is coming. Oh gosh, somebody, thank you. The light is here. The light is here. <coughs> Do you believe the light is here? Yes. Can you say the light is here? The light the light is here. here. Affirm it, oh, the light is here. The light, the light is, is here. here. The light is here. And where is that here? Right here. Right here. In the building? Yes. But where is it radiating from? Within each and every one of you. 